Hi everyone, Miss Art here to finally give you my review for this 8th chapter in this Naruto Gaiden. Yes, my husband and I returned from our Puerto Rico trip last night. We had a great time, we saw all the major sights, and it was nice just to enjoy that lovely tropical environment. So thank you to all of my Puerto Rico fans, my PR fans, thank you for your hospitality. We had a really great time on your island. And thank you everyone for your patience in waiting for this review. I really appreciate it. I'm sneaking it in just before the new chapter comes out tomorrow. And speaking of tomorrow, the 25th is actually my birthday. <laughs> so I'm going to delay my review for tomorrow's chapter till Friday because I plan to relax some more and just enjoy the day. So thank you guys again for your patience. But without further ado, let's jump into this review. The focus of this chapter is squarely on settling the tumultuous emotions within Sarada. As you remember in the last chapter, she got that huge shock as the revelation emerged that she is somehow genetically related to Kadin. If indeed that was a sample of Kadin's DNA that Sui gets who just rummaged out of her desk. <laughs> a very, very unusual circumstance is going on there. So there's a lot of mystery regarding this DNA match. But Sarada, she assumes the most shocking reason for the DNA match, and that is that this must mean Kadin is her true mother, her birth mother. And just the realization sends her emotions flying out the window. It shakes her world to the foundations and causes her to question and push back all the people she previously held dear and considers family. She even goes so far as to threaten to leave Konoha, <laughs> which of course reminds us of her dear old dad. But this is when Naruto steps up to help Sarada settle her emotions because he has a lot of experience with emotionally distraught Uchiha and he knows the dangerous dark path that dark emotions can lead to. So in response, he lays down his favorite thing, which is talk no jutsu. But in this case, his talk no jutsu isn't as annoying as it usually was in the previous series. And I think that's mostly to do because Naruto is older here. He's in his 30s. He's good. He's Hokage. He's got so much experience under his belt. I feel like his tone as a result has more mentoring behind it more than just talking values at someone. So I think it was very effectively applied to Sarada's situation. And basically what he imparts, the knowledge he imparts to Sarada is that we decide on our bonds and those bonds are reinforced with love and friendship. Like Naruto, some people don't have the luxury of having blood relations. They don't have a built-in family, so they go out and they create bonds with other people and they become their family. It's all about the bond, it's all about the love. And this is, from Naruto's perspective, re-emphasized through a flashback, of course! No, this flashback, it was an old one. And for me, it was more interesting just to observe how Kishimoto's style has improved in his artwork, but, but otherwise it, it was just a flashback. And it just served, as I said, to emphasize that Naruto was able to create his own family. Indeed, he views the entire village as his family now, especially in his role as Hokage. And so he encourages Sarada to do the same with the people in her life. And as Sarada searches her emotions, she goes into a flashback, and I found this one infinitely more interesting because it generated and provided us new content as we get a look into Sarada's early life. And at the end of it, she admits to herself that she does love Sakura, and Sakura is her mom in her heart. And she does love her father, even though her father's been absent, there are memories of him, and she feels his love through Sakura's love. And now that Sarada and Sasuke are together, they can work to generate that love that's there. It exists, but that bond is weak. And so now is the opportunity for them to make that bond strong. So as Sarada's emotions begin to settle, her Sharingan deactivates. And I think it's very significant to note that while Naruto was imparting his advice to Sarada, he held her arm with the arm that he lost, protecting everybody he loved, all of his bonds and the arm he lost to save the world. So 
So I felt like that was a very symbolic gesture. So as I said, this emotional exchange was at the heart of this chapter, and it's at this point that the chapter begins to wrap up and set us up for the next big action sequence, which is to save Sakura. And it looks like they're going to get to Sakura with a time-space jutsu that Sasuke has. I'm not sure if we've seen this time-space jutsu because he says he's, he alludes to the fact that he's been exploring Kaguya's dimensions. I don't remember him being able to do that in the first series. So as he's activating his Suzano, he's just going into badass mode. And as an Uchiha fan, that's always very nice to see. And I really enjoyed when he stuck up for Sakura. He said, you know, don't discount my wife. She is strong. She's probably already taking care of the situation, maybe. <laughs> but it was a very positive, uh, husbandly thing to say. So husband points to you, Sasuke. Hopefully you'll keep racking those up. But that's basically how the chapter closed up. So yeah, it was it was not a very action-packed chapter. It was solely focused on Sarada's emotional development, which was important because she was very distracted, and the entire team needs to be together in order for everyone to go and save Sakura and discover more about what's going on with Sheen. So a very straightforward chapter overall that had some interesting dynamics between Naruto, our original main character, and Sarada, our new main character in this series. That whole DNA match is still kind of a fishy situation to me, especially with all the science going on <laughs> in this series. So I'm hoping that we're going to learn more about what is the reason for the DNA match between Sada and Karin, hopefully in the next few chapters. I don't think we're gonna have to wait too long for that revelation or the revelation of how Sheen is going to be neutralized. But anyway, I'm excited to see where it's going to go. But as always, let me know what you guys thought of this chapter <laughs> a week later in the comments below. Thank you guys again for your patience for this review. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Yay! And don't forget to subscribe. Am I at 6,000 subscribers? Last time I looked, I was pretty close. And that just blows my mind. So thank you guys for all your support. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the chapter tomorrow and talking about it with you guys. So yeah, follow me on all the social medias. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Friday. All right, bye.